Ethiopian Evangelical Church Makanye Seuss, EECMY, was established as a national church in 1959 and has been endeavoring for the spiritual and physical well-being of the Ethiopian people. The first preachers of the gospel were teaching the people how to read and write. They were also caring for those people who were suffering because of disease and illness. In 1972, the church revisited her philosophy and approach in the implementation of social and development work. A mission statement known as serving the whole person, which was later rephrased at holistic ministry, was produced. This new philosophy gave momentum to the EECMY development and social service work, which became an integral part of the entire church work. Through the years, this service has been diversified and expanded across almost all regions of the country. As a result, in line with the policy of the Ethiopian government, EECMY has established a separate development and social service organ, named the Ethiopian Evangelical Church Makana Yesus Development and Social Service Commission. EECMY DASK. ECMY DASK was registered and certified under the Ethiopian Ministry of Justice in the year 2000. It was re-registered under the Charities and Societies Proclamation in 2009. In its operation, the ECMY DASK has developed a decentralized administrative structure with the General Assembly as its highest decision-making body and governing body at the national level. Its major functions are representation, coordination, facilitation, and capacity building in implementation of its program and project priorities as enshrined in its strategic plan. The EECMY desk has been doing extensive work concerning food security and natural resources management in different parts of the country. The Konso community in Jarso and Babursa districts is one of the communities highly affected by drought and climate change. Recurring failure of agricultural food production was common as the community had been depending on rain-fed agriculture with erratic rainfall which resulted in food shortage. As a result, the community had been dependent on external aid for decades. On the request of the community, the EECMY DASP started the Yandafero Sagan Sawate Integrated Food Security Project. The major component of this project is irrigation scheme development. It provides consistent trainings and effective techniques to the farmers on how to use the irrigation effectively. Today, this project has already improved the livelihood of 50,000 Konso people. They harvest crops twice a year for household consumption as well as for the local markets. Similar exemplary activities have been carried out in the Kambata and the Hadia zone located in southern, central Ethiopia. Because of soil degradation and dense population in the area, the local communities were exposed to food insecurity and multidimensional poverty. Then intervention was made when the Boshe Ilgira Food Security Project was commenced. This project introduced new technologies such as compost making and modern farming techniques, which enabled the farmers to produce sufficient food. Today, the community residing in the project area improved their life significantly, and a farmer was even rewarded with a gold medal by the federal government. In the Minasibu area, located in the western part of the country, the EECMY DASK undertook environmental rehabilitation activities since 1999. Before the intervention, the target area was totally denuded due to termite attack natural resource mismanagement, improper agricultural practices, and climate change. As a result, the productivity of the land was very low and forced the farmers who were living on the area to settle in other locations. At this critical situation, it made a significant intervention that rehabilitated and changed the topography of the area. 
Families who once left the area came back for resettlement. Today, they are able to produce their food and their livelihood is improved. Lalo Kile Environmental Rehabilitation Project is another EECMY desk project in Kelamwilaga zone that started in 2004. Total deforestation caused by termites caused the area to be degraded and unsuitable for farming and living, which exposed the community to extreme poverty and starvation. The EECMY desk was invited to intervene in this situation and started a viable project and trained the community on reforestation, soil protection, and mud technology. Now the area has been completely rehabilitated and turned into a suitable environment for living. The project activities of Lalo Kile received recognition within the district and were awarded by the Ethiopian government. Similarly, in the West Willaga zone, in Chalia area of Guliso district, serious land degradation could be observed due to natural resource depletion and high termite infestation. As a result, the community was not able to produce enough food. Hence, the Chalia Integrated Rural Development Project was initiated and introduced appropriate technologies, such as mud technology for house construction and modern beehives, a community multipurpose solar electric system, and trainings concerning these technologies were provided to selected target groups. Today, the local communities are constructing houses using the mud technology, which has reduced the pressure on the natural resources. In Rama, in the Merib Lehid district of Tigray region, the EECMY DASC executed outstanding works regarding environmental protection and natural resource management since 1993. The area was affected by recurrent drought and natural resource depletion, which exposed the community to food insecurity. It has intervened and constructed a small-scale irrigation system through a river diversion and has also worked on income diversification. Today, many households are benefiting by cultivating more than 80 hectares of farmland through this irrigation system. They are producing sufficient food for consumption as well as income generation. In the Sarama